Alright. Alright. So we'll go here, go here, and then now go Alright, so let's get this started. Okay, get the drink. Now, what am I looking at here? This is. Place wants. What is that? A soda. Get something stronger over here. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, here we go. We got the mic test. Everything appears to be working. We got the drink cup and the shot. Fantastic. We have... Ah, that's not on. Let's turn that back on. Animations. Turn this one on. Yeah, that's got to be there. Okay, yeah. Good. Hey, Jabu, thank you for the host, buddy. Give me a second, we're moving some stuff around. Should be right about there. We'll leave that right there. We'll leave that right there, since that's a rarity. But guess what, Deja? That, uh, that chat broke already. Apparently it's hosted or it's supported it developed by one guy. And apparently he didn't get enough donations or something to keep it up and running, which I didn't even know he was taking donations. So apparently it broke. It's supposed to be working soon. We, we I don't know. You want to get off All right, buddy. We are live. All right, good. Let's do this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be testing out this, which I believe has some new features, and I want to see how this works. So we're going to open, and we're going to go to vector, get rid of this. We're going to test this out a little bit because I sort of feel like we went in, we had little water drips and look down here, my logo, I got my logo to change colors down here in the corner. So we got it changing colors down here. I got these little like it simulated water drips and I was working on like details and stuff. It's looking really good. But when that broke. Uh, you can see with the chat, it's all it does when it loads now. It doesn't do anything, and you can't refresh it. And apparently, it's going to be working soonish, but I don't know how soon that's going to be. So, sexy, thank you for that follow. Hope you're having a good night. Tribute to water bottle? It could be. I just thought it'd be cool to have stuff leaking, right? Something fun. Something fun. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, this is the beta version of Affinity Designer. Um. And so it has a cool new feature that I want to test. Um, apparently now, you're okay? Well, thank you for coming in. And thank you for the follow. If you have any questions for me, be sure to let me know. We're going to do a little bit of testing first, and then we're going to actually draw something. So but that makes one shape, right? Or no? Is it not on? Sculpt. Oh, Sculpt has to be on. What software is this? This is called Affinity Designer. Um, and what it is, 
uh, here's the regular version. This is the stable version right here. This is the one I make a lot of my stuff with, right? So we'll open something up here so you can kind of see it. Um, so things like, like this, right? We've made stuff like this in here, okay? Um, and it's a vector-based software. Well, they've released a beta version with new features that are coming out. And um, one of the new features is right here. I'm pretty excited. There's actually two new features I'm really excited about. So this right here, when I make a shape, because like if we go over here to this software and we make a new file, I'll show you guys exactly why I'm excited. So we'll make this. We'll grab the pencil tool and we'll use it like I normally do. So check this out. Normally, you're going to dra drag a shape like this, right? Hey, Corbin, thank you for the follow over there on DLive. I appreciate that. But when you let go with the pencil, that's it. You can't add to this shape in any way, shape, or form, right? You can't come in here and do something like this. They're two separate shapes. Well, with the new beta version, when you do this, which is why I'm pretty excited because I use that a lot. Apparently, if you make this shape and you have sculpt mode on, if you go and you grab it, look at this. It'll allow you to keep adding to it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, there's another feature in here with the pencil tool or the pen tool now. Oops, sorry. Check this out. Apparently now if I make a shape, we're going to get drawn here in a minute, folks. We're just doing some testing real fast. But if anybody has any questions, let me know. Apparently now if I come to the edge of this and I add vector points to it, it sure did. Look at that. It made a, it made a larger shape as a whole. That's pretty cool. So that means if I come in and I go like this and I draw like a custom sort of character or something, right? And we make it blue. Right? Am I crazy? I'm not crazy, am I? No, it adds to it. It sure does. And then it's an editable vector shape, so I can still add points. I can do everything I need to for points. And then there's supposed to be a couple new features. We're going to have to find them as we go. Because I think we're going to draw with the beta version tonight. And we're going to see how far we can get. So what I want to do tonight is I want to play around with making a cyberpunk sort of theme. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. So I played around with this today at um, at work. I'll show you guys this first. This is a, a, a an isometric vector software. Um, that is used for making isometric vector and pixel art uh, But I'll show you guys something pretty cool because it has animation built in right? So what I'm doing is I'm drawing this and I'm gonna animate it in the same stretch So basically what I'm doing is I'm learning how to animate in here But what's cool about the software is it allows you to make like glow effects and stuff and you can do tweening animation for pixel and vector or pixel and isometric art, which is pretty freaking cool um, like you can do things like uh, I'll give you all some examples so we can come in and we can do Isometric things like mm, I don't know like this Right so you can do a lot of like isometric animations and stuff It's a piece of software I've had for a while, but I'm just now sort of getting around to playing with it So I want to do some more testing and figure it out uh, the main reason I bought it was to do isometric style stuff, but I want to play with it and see if I can do some more sort of um interesting looking thing so yeah that was pretty fun but i want to play with where's this okay let's dra grab a drawing and we'll save it and i want to see what it looks like we open this i want to see what happens if we open it with the beta software so if we go vector beta and we'll save this in here I want to see if it's going to have any reaction to that. File open. Still shows it. Okay. Open non-beta document. Editing in the beta could add new features to this file that make it unusable by the release version. Which is why I wanted to check. What are you using then? You don't mind me asking. This is a really good piece of software. Uh, and the cool part here is about this channel. So for those that are new here. I normally, we have a very open stream, meaning if you have questions for me, if you uh, if you want to know how to do something, if you see me do something and you're curious how I did it or why I did it, feel free to ask. Like, I'm all about helping people learn and grow here. So, uh, for all disclosure, just feel free to ask. Editing in the beta could add features to make it, you can either continue working with the document, work on a copy of the document, or open the document. 
continue because I made a, I made a copy. But everything still looks the same. All right. So let's copy this out. That looks a little weird. And we are going to do a drawing tonight, I promise, guys. <laughs> I just want to see what I can do. And Miss Paint, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. We all start with something, right? I started with MS Paint years ago. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. No, I started with Paint a long time ago. Um, You know, and I've seen some really impressive work done in MS Paint. So, don't... The tool doesn't really define the artist, right? It's more the artist. So, mostly code. Okay. All right. Nothing wrong with that. And so, this will work. Let's see, so what is, I don't understand what this does now. There's this little line that pops up on the vector shape right here. You see that? What is that all about? And then we have, or this, we have something called rubber band mode. What is that? Oh, very cool. I do some coding for work, um, but I normally leave it at work. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't understand what this rubber band mode is. Let's, let's test something. What, what does this mean, rubber band mode? These are new features in the beta, and I'm really trying to understand what the heck they do. I got the other one. The add to curve mode node makes sense. What does rubber band mode? Okay, that is a useful feature. I don't like how it still leaves a line in there, even though it's one shape. That's a little weird. Okay, right on. You do any sort of mods or anything, or are you just... All right, so let's get started. Let's get started. We're doing a lot of talking. We need some more art. And... My big fat cat trying to come join me. What do you want, buddy? What do you want, Sammy? Huh? You... Okay. Okay, very cool. Alright, so... Yeah, I've never done any sort of modding. Alright, so what I'm envisioning here... Is sort of... We'll start with these as basic shapes. And we'll see what we can come up with. Very cool. You normally do art, or like you were saying, more code than art? It's I. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, me, as far as my coding goes, is concerned, is I know um, uh, HTML and I know some Java. Um, I don't understand what that new feature is. I'm going to have to look into what they did there or what that feature is all about. All right. So let's say this is going to be our first building, and we'll kind of go here with it, right? And then what I want to do... Oh, Nice. I'm making a program right now. I need to finish it. It's a uh, it's a creative um, sort of idea generation tool. If that makes sense, it's supposed to help people sort of come up with creative ideas, or it I should say it sort of spawns the creative ideas for you. Would probably be the better way to say it. Yeah. Problem with that is I only get so much time to play with it so it's one of those things where like you know a lot of other things sort of take precedence and so i don't get as much time to dedicate toward it as i would like oh right on okay yeah 
I work, <laughs> I work a, a regular, I work a, I uh, usually work 45, 50 hours a week or so. And then, and so that's what sort of hinders it, right? It's just one of those things where you, you, uh, that's the one thing we can't produce is more time, you know? And unfortunately, okay, so we're going to kind of treat this as one building, I think. I want to go for some really unique shaped buildings here. I don't want to just go for like flat, but I want to simulate this is sort of water here in the front, if that's not obvious. Kind of treat this as water, and I want this to sort of be the edge of the water looking at the city. And I want to kind of do, and this is going to be 1920, 1080, which is going to be too big, actually. I think so. I think so. So I don't do a whole lot of sketches. The way I generally work is I just kind of shoot from the hip. Um, and so we just kind of make, right? And we just go from there. And um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Now we are, I need to do one thing real quick. I didn't even think about this. I've got to be careful using this beta here because this beta is a beta. And some of the, um, the files are... I need to copy them into the beta folder and open them from the beta folder. So I learned a long, long time ago, back when uh, web pages were still sort of a new thing. Well, I shouldn't say a new thing. Let's say early 2000s. I started learning how to do HTML and Java and things like that. And, um, yep, continue. And um, I just sort of took it from there. And I've dabbled with it my whole life. And um, sometimes I'll use it for work. Sometimes I'll use it for, you know, home or whatever. But it's always sort of just a uh, whatever I need it for kind of thing. And, um, yeah. I learned a long time ago. I learned on some very, 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 very early versions of HTML. Nothing like what we have nowadays. Nice. Yep. It's a great thing if you have a passion for it, you know? If you enjoy it and you have a passion for it, follow it. Absolutely follow it. I mean, anything IT related, right? Like, my normal job is all, it's IT. But anything sort of IT related, you can get, you can get decent work. It pays generally pretty well. So, if it's something you have an affinity for and you enjoy it, go for it. This is just sort of a blocker at this point. We're gonna group this. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'm sort of the I'm sort of the the exception to the rule in mine. But then again, being um, my age, the um, you know I'm part of that younger generation that sort of grew up with it. Where like my parents and stuff, they did not grow up with it. You know, and it's funny, my sister, I have a, an older sister who's a year older than me. And she is the most untechnical person you'll ever meet. And it always makes me laugh because, like, we are so close in age, yet for her, it, it's just one of those... She just doesn't... You know what I mean? It, it's weird. It's, it just doesn't click with her for whatever reason. Alright, so let's do... We need to do some like little, I want to play around with this one building for a while. I want to get this one building looking really cool. And then we'll sort of play with the, what it is we want to do. Let's break this up. Yep. Yeah, see, that's, to in this day and age, that surprises me. Because I feel like in this day and age, younger people, they, they there's there's not a whole lot of excuses. At least the older generations, you know, they didn't really grow up with it. But like these these younger kids. It's like I always tell my nephews, if I had what I have now as a child, I would have hey radioactive, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm Sort of playing around with this is the this is the uh designer beta bud so there's some cool features here um 
apparently the new isometric feature is not in yet. Um, and I'm not doing true isometric. I'm doing sort of front facing. Um, you'll see, you'll see. We might bust down and do some isometric stuff so I can show you how I've done it. I'm just sort of playing around right now, getting warmed up. Yeah, 2.5D would be a good, a good, uh, a good definition for this. Because I want to sort of create this sort of, this will be sort of a building in the back. And then I want to do like some towers and stuff up here with it. Oh, your trial ran out? Well, I, I can tell you this. Typically, when they release a new revision, they do a sale. And normally the sales are pretty good. Like you'll get you'll get a pretty good discount generally. So you may wanna, you know, I don't know where you're at with it, but it might be worth the wait because from what I understand, they're pretty close to releasing this beta. And so far I see a couple cool features in there that interest me. Um, there's a couple, I don't really understand what they're supposed to be doing. I'll show you what the, a couple of the new ones though. Check this out. So Gravit is great for being free, right? But the problem with Gravit is that, um, when it, before they went to a, um, a, uh, sort of a pro model where you could pay for it, they had a whole lot more features in it that were included in the free version. Well, their way of creating the paid version was, oh, we're going to take features that um, used to be free and we're going to lock them behind the paywall. So it sort of inadvertently sort of crippled the software, if you will. At least that's my opinion. I don't think that was the right way to handle it, but I understand they're trying to get into the business of making money. So, you know. So check this out. This is a pretty cool feature. They've added a new thing here when you use the pen tool. Let's say we make this shape right here, right? If you have, yeah. If you have the pen tool still selected, watch this. You can add right to the shape without needing to um, create a new shape and join it. Apparently. Oh, we got to turn it on. Hold on right here so check this out so I didn't join no shape but they're now one shape so like let's say I drew a shape and then I wanted to add to it I could just do this and it'll add to those shapes pretty interesting I I'm not really sure how or what principle I would use it it is cool that's something that doesn't exist in um, Illustrator for sure you see that and now this is all one shape and it didn't it didn't combine them it's literally one shape but you can see what it has right it still suffers from that bug you can't stand you see him little lines in there but it is it's showing as one solid piece and I can't ungroup it so it's not a grouped object it is one solid curve so that's fascinating the other thing they did was here on the pencil tool which is a tool I use a lot it used to be when you let up on the pencil that that was it that's where your shape ended right well what they've done now is when you go like this if you go back in the square you can continue the shape if you turn on sculpt so watch this you see that so now what you can do is instead of having to come in here and guess where you were and try to join it up and everything you just come off the last point and it automatically adds to the shape. That's freaking useful. I will be using that a lot. Um, super, super useful. Uh, a knife tool? I've not seen any mention of it. I do know that they're working on a... Um, you've used Illustrator, I think? Uh, you have they have the live paint feature they're working on a live paint bucket feature i believe so that you will be able to um 
like fill vector things like with like a live paint if you will oh in case you're wondering um biscuits i'm talking to i'm restreaming right now between mixer and dlive we had chat built in but apparently the chat interface that i was using it broke i guess they um they're fixing it so we don't have the chat on right now yeah so um the one thing that that this software doesn't have that i would love to see is let's say i came in and i made a shape like this with a stroke right and i made the stroke like that um in a illustrator they have a paint bucket tool that works just like a paint bucket tool in photoshop you would select it and you'd be able to fill this with a color so you could actually add colors to custom shape like a fill to a custom shape very very cool feature um that's something that doesn't exist in affinity yet i do hope they are working on it i know uh but the algorithm behind it and everything are pretty lengthy so i know they haven't really done it yet but from what i understand it is coming all right let's change some of these colors up So we're going to play around with the beta version of this tonight and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Got a couple variances already I'm seeing that I hope are just bugs. But, uh... I wonder what that lock is for. Maybe it's for this? I bet it is. I bet it is. Yep. It locks it. Huh. Kind of weird. Not sure I actually like that. Yeah, I'm just sort of goofing off tonight, playing around in the, the beta version. Um, we may do something serious. This may turn into something serious. I don't know yet. How did you get on the other day? change that now you have to hold control through it okay wait a minute why did they do that oh oh it looks like they changed the copy Sure did. They changed the way the control. Remember, we were just having that conversation, radio, about the control and the alt copy. Remember that? So they changed it. I wonder. I can't say I don't like it. So check this out. Now, when you hold alt and copy, it copies the whole shape, right? Well, control will now. Grab whatever you're pointed at, regardless of whether or not it's nested. So as you can see right now, the white shape is the child inside of the dark shape, right? No, 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 no. Check this out. They've ch this is the beta version. It works differently now. Watch this. When I hold down Alt, it copies. No problem. Okay, but watch what happens when I do Control. I'm going to point it. You can see this is a child to a parent, right? And I do not have the white one selected like that right there. Right now I have the whole shape selected. But watch this. I have nothing selected. When I hold down control and drag, it's like takes it out. Which I mean, I know it selects it, but like the control doesn't Huh. I wonder why they did that. They must have they must have something they're working on for that. I'll have to I'll have to read the patch notes a little bit and see what it is they're trying to do there. Like they it looks seems as though they changed it a little bit, but it doesn't really explain why they changed it or what their what their ulterior motive was for changing it. 
I'll have to, I'll have to read. Weird. No, 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 not right now. Yeah, right, right. Which, I mean, you could always use control, but now, like, control, it just copies the one thing instead of the whole thing? Maybe, maybe they're, maybe they're setting it up for, like, a different feature I don't know about yet. Because here's the, uh, the one problem, I don't know if you know this radio, but, like, this software was originally designed for Macs, okay? And so, what's happened is, they always develop for Mac first. So, the, the Mac beta version is, like, three revisions ahead of the Windows one. So what they do is they sort of build everything for the Mac version, they get everything right, and then they, they go back and they port it to Windows, and then they make everything right. So it's like they do their development on Mac, and then they sort of work backwards. That's what I understand. Exactly. It could just be broken, right? Like, we could be using a broken feature or something. Because they tell you flat out, this is beta, things may or may not work, things may, you know, so I mean, this could be, it could just be flat busted. That's why I don't really want to, I don't really want to consider that so until, you know, we, we see some patch notes and whatnot. But yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to group this for now. That's enough detail on this building. I want to play around with making some foreground buildings. And then I want to add some glows and stuff to this and see what we can kind of do with it. Okay. Well, let's do like a foreground. And we're going to draw this with the pen tool. And I think what we'll do is we'll kind of do a mid foreground. So sort of like here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some... I'm going to make a random shape and then we will add texture to that random shape. And so I'm just going to make it sort of look like a cityscape. Not really following anything. We're just kind of. I think I want it to sort of. Yeah, we'll have it go all the way across. Why not? Yeah, but you're 100% correct. I mean, this is beta, so. You know, it could crash. I, I will not be working on any of my production files in this. And it even warns you not to do that. I did, Whisper. I've not had a chance to respond to you. I, I thought you were MIA. I thought you were like MIA, man. <laughs> Whisper. Vector stuff, Reb. Yeah. We're, we're testing the beta version of the software that I normally use right now. Is kind of what we're doing. So, we're not actually drawing a real picture quite yet. But we're getting there. This is a beta version of Affinity Designer. So, it has a couple new features. How are you doing, Whisper? Okay, so you are, are you, how late are you going to be on? Because I'll probably be streaming for about an hour and a half, two hours. I can send them to you then, or, or let me ask you this. Let me ask you a better question, Whisper. Are there particular ones you would like of my stuff? That would probably be the better question to ask, because you've seen a lot of my stuff. Yeah, we're getting there. It's, it's so this is sort of a two part thing, right? I want to turn this into sort of a cyberpunk sort of look. I want to um, I want to see if we can make it look very sort of futuristic, add some glows to it, add some really vibrant colors, add like the reflection in the water, make it look really interesting, sort of fascinating, like a city, sort of like a city scape. You know what I mean? That's what I have in my head, but I suffer from a, a case of not sketching, which is something I do all too often, which often leads to me just sort of putting it out. So, I think it's enough. Right on, man. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Whisper. Take care, bud. I'll send him over as soon as I'm done, then. What type of art do I do? I do, um, my main art is, I do pixel art. I do vector art and I do animations. So you'll see the little slideshow over there is going to sort of showcase a lot of the things that I do. Um, 
you'll see quite a few of them over there. Um, and then I sort of, I, I like learning things. I'm constantly learning softwares and, and figuring out new tools and things like that, right? So, um, I like to play and learn and grow and sort of figure things out. <clears throat> I think so, Radio, because I saw it and I was like, gosh, you know, I've never done anything like that. I was like, I would really like to draw something like that, but I want to do it in a way that... Oh, was there? All right, cool. So, Real Meteor, how you doing? All right, I will check it out, Radio. Yeah. You're getting into logo animations. Nice. So, um, a lot of... I do... Most of what I do... I don't do any 3D sort of stuff, right? Like, I'll do some motion graphics every now and then. Um, like, I made my... You know... You know... Yeah, I love looking at art. Yeah, feel free. Okay, I want this building to be weird. I want this building to almost be futuristic and have like a hole cut in the middle of it. I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to do it. Kind of like that look. So I found, I, I have a piece of software. Let me show you this, guys. I think this might actually interest uh, radio quite a bit, but hang on. So it's a pizza software I've owned for a while. It's a it's an isometric slash pixel creation software. Okay. Um, and to understand the software, I'll give you a couple examples. But I was messing with this today. So it allows you to do um, pixel and vector and isometric art, but it allows you to tween it like you would motion graphics, which is pretty fascinating. Which is really fascinating, actually, because you can do like full on tween. And I'll give you an example of that. So I'm drawing like a cyberpunk sort of city is sort of what I'm envisioning. So this is really cool. Check this out. So if we go to like a, a pixel layer and I'll show you guys this really, really quickly and we blow up the brush. I've had this software for a long, long time. So it has glow effects, right? So you can do all kinds of neat sort of glow and particle effects and things like that. But what's really fascinating about it is it uses tweening for like pixel art which is really unique. We'll turn the glow off, right? This is not free. I actually got this through a friend of mine who got the key and he um, was, he, he didn't plan on using it, so he gave it to me. That's how I got it, but check this out. This is where the software gets really cool. Like you can get into full on transforms and stuff. Now watch this. I just drew that as a pixel piece, right? But check this out. We can get into full tweening Meaning we can do stuff like this. And I'll show you exactly what that means for those that don't know. So what's cool is, check this out. We can take regular pixel art. We can do things like this. All right, now watch this. And then go to the end and we'll say loop back. And we'll say 12 and we'll say loop to finish. Now watch this. We can set the type of tween. So it looks more natural. And then when you play this thing. See that? It'll actually, you can actually animate pixel art and vector art and stuff using, using keyframes, but using tweens, which is, Really, really fascinating because this is not something that you traditionally can do. You normally can't animate things like with this sort of, um, you see that? Right, exactly. So you can basically, you can use tweening function to animate pixel, vector, and uh, different arts like that. So you saw how quickly I just put that together, right? And it's basically taking that, um, that pixel object and animating it but it's using a tween to do it um and i'll show you some examples of stuff that was made in this software just so you can kind of see like if you're into isometric stuff i mean it it's it it, is, it relies heavily on isometric right not only that like check this out if people have done things like this which are like isometric animations <clears throat> 
and it's it's it can do things like this it can do like particle effects for like water and stuff pretty fascinating software um i've had it for a while it's it's expensive yeah it's expensive a friend of mine he gave it to me and i was like i guess if he gave it to me i should probably check this out right Yes, it's made by Marmoset. Yep. So, anyways, if it's something that ever interests you, it's got some really fascinating features to it. You might, you know, because, like, you can do glow effects, you can do ripple effects, you can do all sort of, like, processing inside of the software that's really, really unique. Um, so, I'm sort of learning it little by little. Yeah, but RevX, I, I'll be glad to look at some of your stuff. You want to shoot it over? I have a Discord if you want to send me some of that or post some links for me somewhere and I'll take a look for you for sure. You're trying to get into shading and lighting? Right. Yeah. I can understand that. We all start somewhere. So let's go... Infographic to your Patreon page below links to your merch room? That's it? It sure does. Well, that's... That's disheartening. Hold on. Okay. Give me one set, folks. So does my tip? They shouldn't be. Those should be separate. Oh, it's including it all as one image. Okay, I'll have to redo that. I'll redo it. It's including them all as one image, Carrington. Weird. I'll redo them after the stream. No worries. Yeah, I'm in there, Rev. You want to throw them in there? I'll be glad to look at them for you. Sorry about that, Carrington. That's weird. So what it did is it grouped them all together, Carrington. And so it's taking them all as one link. That's what it is. Okay, I'll look at it. It's always something, isn't it? The life of streaming. Like, something is always broken. <laughs> or needs work. Or or is or is something. What's up, Odie? What do you need, buddy? You're needy tonight. You alright, old man? Yeah, I, I... Yeah, thank you. I don't know how or when that happened, because I could have sworn that was working. It's the other day, Carrington? I don't know. How you doing tonight, Carrington? You doing good, buddy? Sorry, right, guys. I'm sort of testing out this beta software. I'm not really drawing my normal efficient speed. We're just kind of testing things out and seeing where this will go. So, pardon me for that. And if anyone does have any questions, feel free to let me know. We're going to go with this color, and we're just going to use the same two colors, and we're going to nest it and make it look like it's sort of, yeah. And then I want to get into some, like, okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Yeah, I do all kinds of stuff, really. Um, It, it really depends on what I'm sort of in the mood for. I, I love to dabble with different kinds of arts. Um, and I like to experiment. I've been trying to do some digital painting, which is not something I normally do. But I've been trying to sort of play with that. Um, you know, I, I'm always up for learning and, and playing around. In fact, that's something I probably do a bit too much. But most people are pretty cool about it. Kind of like a lightning bolt. Yeah, in a weird way. So what I want to do there, Surreal, is I want to sort of have this perspective where we're looking through the building, right? Yeah. Let me do something here real quick. One sec, folks. Let 
I wonder why that. Hmm. Why isn't that working? Hold on one second. Sorry. I swear that was working the other day. What happened to it? One second. I'm going to I'm going to adjust those pictures over there real quick, Carrington, and then what we'll do is they're going to look a little off because I'm going to have to go in and resize them, but at least the, the information will be right. I don't know what happened there. Thank you for pointing that out, though, man. I appreciate it. They're going to look a little uh, jumbled, though, until I get around to it. All right. All right. Let's... Um, I want to add some... sort of. Now, that's cool. I will say I like that feature. And that's nice, because that just snaps in there. Yep. All right, cool. So we want to create that little bit of a separation here. Oh, that's what it is. You can use the lasso tool now to select points. Okay. So we'll kind of go there with it. Let me see. Not dropping any frames. You might just have to refresh it. Um, refresh it surreal. It's been a lot of, a lot, a lot of streams have been lagging like that. Yeah. So how do we break this up? How do we break the shape up in the front and make it look sort of more uniform? We'll kind of go like this, right? All right, we're going to take no stroke, this color, and we're going to go lighter since it's way in the back. So we'll kind of go like this. I want to sort of give the impression of things back here as well, like other buildings, maybe? I don't know. I want to... Got some ideas for this, and this may not turn into a full-on... Who knows? Lasso selection, yeah. Oh, did it... It really got you for that? The... 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 Oh, my God. Has something real quick. Let's group all this for just a second. Let's copy and paste it and let's flip it. Because I want to experiment with putting shadows in the water. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You're not going to get much of a shadow at this angle, though, right? Because, yeah, we'll, have to, we'll do it more with a glow, I think, is what we'll do. A snap works a lot better, though, I'll tell you that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna. There's a couple, couple differences that I'm feeling. Yeah. I 
I want to do it more with glows, I think. Like, make it look more glowy, I think. I don't know. Can you make the water longer? Oh, yeah, we can make it longer. We're not... Um, so, we're... we're Still quite a ways from the uh, the sort of detailing phase. We're still sort of at the the new the start of the picture. I'm sort of getting the general shapes and stuff. You see this, and then I'm even contemplating doing one more row, sort of in the front. I don't know if that's going to be too much. Let's add it in and see what the what the heck it looks like. Absolutely. Will do. Yeah. Thank you for coming by. Um, I'll take a look once I get done and, and I'll, I'll give you some feedback on those. Thanks for being here. I do appreciate it. Sorry, we're just sort of, I'm sort of just testing this out tonight. I'm not, most of my normal streams, man, they're more like, uh, they're more, you know, a little more put together, a little more thought out, but I, I'm sort of testing this out tonight to see what it'll do. Well, I like that. And then what we can do, but I don't like the shape of that one. So these in the front would be naturally the, the, the most clear looking. Yeah, right? That's sort of what I want to do, though. I want to see... Well, no, no. The, um, the, the, the ones that are 2D right now, radio, we're going to give them some depth. I just haven't done it yet. Um, we'll do some stuff like this. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just playing around. Trying to see what what kind of trouble we can get into, right? So for like some of these, I want to come in. Yeah, I, I don't know yet. We're... Yeah, I want to do stuff like this and give them like little like antennas on the buildings and stuff. You know, and come in and do small little like little details like this. Make it look more like a city. Now, what I want to do is I want to make it look more. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you, the big thing with that radio is, um, uh, I've been doing this for a while, right? I get that a lot. People are like, man, you're so fast at this. How do you, you know, and it's like, well, the big thing there is honestly just doing it and doing it and doing it. Like I do this a lot. I draw with this stuff all the time. And so it's one of those things that just sort of becomes a natural habit over time, right? Okay. Let me check something here real quick. See, the other thing is here, I don't know how realistic I want to get with this. You know what I mean? Like, there you go, yeah. I don't know how detailed, like... You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll just play around with it. Let's start on the sky. We'll send this to the back. We'll go somewhere in this neighborhood with it. And then we'll grab this and we'll drag this up. And we'll go here. Go here and we'll make it lighter. So we'll cut this out of the building. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and cut that out. That way we sort of see through the building, which was kind of the goal. And now if we want to modify this, what we can do now is we can just take these points and move them around as such. So, I mean, we have full control over that, right? But I sort of wanted that to be like this. 
and then maybe do some small bits and pieces between here, like maybe some pipes and stuff. I don't know. Like I was saying, man, I don't really, <laughs> I know it's some people, they, it drives them bananas, but like, I don't really, I don't really plan what I'm doing. I just kind of do it, which I'll be honest, is good and bad because I don't, I don't really suffer from the, you know, you, you've got to, got to, got to, got to like stick to certain things, right? Like I sort of have creative freedom to do whatever the heck it is I want. Um, but at the same time, it can be a little daunting when you're, you're staring at a blank thing and you don't have a sketch or any idea of what you want to do it with. Because once in a while, I'll pull up like a reference, but even then, it's rare. Never done 3D. Never really done anything 3D, surreal. About as 3D as I get is what you're looking at right here. Just playing around with like, you know, different shapes and whatnot. Hey, Rue, how you doing? Good to see you. Thank you, thank you for coming in. We're sort of messing around. This is the Affinity Designer Beta. So I'm just sort of playing around with it tonight. Uh, looking at some of the new features and... We're making this weird sort of cityscape. Taking a quick break? Nice. What are you doing? You playing games? Are you working on stuff? What are you up to? We'll do stuff like this, and then maybe we can do some random shapes on it, sort of like this. Hey, Radio, how's it going? Work, work, work. You know... I, I, I feel you, and it feels like that's all we... Do. I know. I know exactly what you mean. I'm actually going to stop taking commissions for a while because I'm at the point now where I really need to start focusing on some things, right? I really need to get some things done. And so I'm going to, um, you know, I, I'm going to stop because I've got some commissions i got to finish up as is. So I want to get everything off my plate, and then I want to take, like, a couple of... Uh, I want to take a couple of uh, weeks, probably, and just get some things done that I need to get done. Then I think I'll flip some stuff back. Because things have been busy for me, not just with commissions and stuff, but, like, my, my work, my regular job and stuff. You know, because I work, I work, you know, 50 hours a week or whatever, so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to be doing that soon. Because I, I had somebody email me the other day, and I told him, I said, it's going to be a while before I can honestly tell you I'm going to get to it. Because I, I really need to, I need to bunker down. I need to focus on some stuff. Okay, it's real. But yeah, I'm just sort of testing out the Affinity Designer beta, playing around with it. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of differences, Radio. They've um, they've been putting a lot of work into it now. They've got the whole sticker thing. They've got, you know... There, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, let's do it like this. I like these shapes, whatever the heck these shapes are. I don't really know, but I like them. Yeah, because I was, I was actually talking about it. Like, I want to... I want this year... I want to focus on some personal stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, not just that. Like, I want to do some personal stuff this year. I mean, not that I don't enjoy doing commissions, because I do, but I want to do some stuff for me. You know what I mean? I want to work on, I've got some, like, some ideas for some, like, personal projects that I can use my creativity for. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, it, it's nice and it's all well and good doing, you know, commissions and whatnot. But, like, I would like to take my skills and actually use them to do something. You know, make something that could be mine. A product or something. You know what I mean? And that's sort of where I'm focusing it. And I really, really, really need to figure that out. Right. Well, because you know how it is. Like, right, when you're doing commissions and stuff, a lot of the times you're so focused on what other people want... 
you're being creative, but at the same time, you're not creating for you. You know, you're just creating, right? And so you're sort of constantly stuck instead of like right now I'm experimenting, right? I can't experiment like this when I'm doing commissions. I don't have the room to do that. When I'm doing commissions, it's, it's, um, it has to be right. It has to be what it is that, you know what I'm saying? And so I want, I want some time this year to be able to, um, explore and grow and, and, and work on some personal projects and stuff. So. That's kind of what I'm going to do for a bit. And once I get a couple of these, these commissions here finished up, you know what I mean? How do you change your... How do you change your pick? Oh, you, your, uh, your little avatar? Surreal? Yeah, I stopped graphic design in general for four years. If not more. I'm just getting back into it. It's fun again. It is. It's super fun. So if you click on your little account in the corner, Surreal... There should be like a thing that says like edit your account or something. And there should be a picture there you can click and change. Yeah. I mean, I know some people are probably going to get bummed that, you know, you turn down commissions and stuff. But like, I, I like I said, I, I sort of, I want to focus on some stuff. And it's really hard to focus on stuff when you're constantly doing work for other people. So... I'm going to do it, you know, and I'm sure it might, some people might not appreciate it, but, you know, hey. Right. You know, I mean. No, I do commission for people all over the place. I've, I've done album covers for bands. I've done stuff for streamers. I've done, um, I've done, um, I did a coloring book for a STEM robot company. I've done, um, I've done all kinds of stuff. The, I, I have actually, I have actually not done anything local radioactive. No, 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 Seven, you're good. Like, you can send them my way, but I'm going to be a little picky and choosy with what I do, right? Like, it's because when I started it, um, when I started it, Seven, you know, I was trying to help everybody out, but helping everybody out isn't helping me out. You know what I mean? I have to be a little more picky and choosy about what I do take, you know, and I have to, I'm, I'm too nice. I've got to learn to be able to tell people, sorry, I can't take that on right now, rather than trying to help. You know what I mean? Because I try my best to help everybody, but... Some things are just, you know, the scope of the job or what it is they're looking for. It's got to be like, no, sorry, I'm not going to be the best person for that. So I'm going to be more picky about the ones I do take. You know what I mean? Some are just, some people have way too unrealistic expectations. You know what I mean? Oh, you're okay, Seven. Right. You know, I'm still going to do it. You're, you're welcome to send them my way. But, you know, I don't want people to just expect, hey, you're doing this, you're doing that. You know what I mean? Because it's like I was talking about the other day, Seven. You know? I want to do some personal growth this year. I really, really do. And part of that is going to be me... Is going to be me, you know... Doing some personal projects. Okay, so that still works. Good. I'm playing around with this building. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I never, I've never drawn buildings before, you know? Yeah, and that's the thing right there, Seven, is like, I, I, I'm, I try to accommodate everyone and I gotta stop, you know what I mean? Um, because I'm, I, you know, it's just, it's gotta get to that point to where it's, you know what I mean? I'm just too nice sometimes. And drawing without a reference. Yeah, I I like to sort of, I think it's good practice radio to really just push your brain as hard as you can. That's sort of the way I do it. Um, and I'll usually go back and compare my stuff and try to figure out how I did. Oh no, there's nothing wrong with drawing with a reference. He's just saying like drawing it without a reference. Because a lot of artists will draw with the reference. I don't normally. Once in a while I will. But, um, you know, it's just sort of, 
I like to challenge myself a bit. Seven, he uses a reference. Don't you, Seven? When you draw. You need it. Well, you know, here's the other thing, too, with that, right? It's like, it's like I've, I've had a couple people approach me. Um, I've had a couple people approach me, and they just didn't like my prices and went somewhere else. That's fine, you know, because I'm going to stop making it where I try to accommodate. You know what I mean? That's going to be my rate, pay it or don't. You know what I mean? It's because, I mean, I have to make time for my own stuff. You know what I mean? <clears throat> on Xbox, does anyone know how you change? Can you change your Mixer avatar on Xbox? Does anyone know? Like, know what I can do and then draw from imagination. I can't imagine if I don't know what I can do. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with drawing with a reference. It's just for me personally, um, Radio, I like to sort of, I like to just sort of do it and then sort of look back on it. Like a retrospective kind of thing, you know? Like, so this here, I'm just winging it and we're going to see what's up. I don't think so. You might not be able to, it's real. I know you can on a phone. Well, I should say I'm pretty sure you can on a phone. I know you can, obviously, on a computer. PC, mobile, and create app, okay. It seems like that would be there for Xbox, right? Hmm, weird. So this here, uh, Seven, this is the beta version of Affinity Designer. It has some of the new features that are going to be coming. So I'm sort of playing around and messing with some of the new features. That way I can sort of get a head start on them. And um, how in the world do I make this look sort of cyberpunk? Any suggestions? Well, what's up? Texture, that's what I'm thinking. I want to do some glows and stuff, right? Like, I want to play around with the... Like, rusty. Neon lights, funky colors, green and purples. We are going to destroy it. But that might be fun. Let's do like a giant billboard on this on this one here. We'll do sort of a forced isometric perspective. Oh, so check this out. Um, I want to show you this radio. I was showing you like uh, some pixel or vector vector isometric stuff I've done. Let me show you here, so you can sort of see it. Where is it? That'd be a good question, right? Right here. Uh, make a copy. Yep, so check these out. These of all, these are all some of the isometric stuff that I've done and I've done them in Affinity, right? Giant billboard that says Atari, we can do a Carrington. So like, these are all isometric. There's the one I showed you the other day, right? So here's what I did, Radio. I built this with these predefined shapes. Not only that, check this out. With the here, look at this. You can even do an affinity. You can do fonts on an angle. You can do, look at this. See how it says shop at an angle like this? And you can do circles on an angle like this. See? So you can do all of that angle to make it look sort of uh, like a forced isometric perspective. Yeah, these are good fun. Like, um, they're fun to play around with. And I'll do them every now and then, and I'll mess around with them. I don't think I've ever streamed them too much. We might do that one night. We'll do some sort of isometric stuff. Um, but they're really, really, really interesting. It's a different thought process, again. But it's, what's cool about it, though, is when you watch how fast something like this comes to life. Try to text on angle and grab it. No, you can't. But you can in Affinity. Because if you look down here, you want to do a rotation of 30, negative 30, or negative 30, 30. And what that'll do is it'll rotate it. So like, watch this, I'll give you an example. If we copy it this way and we go negative 30 and then 30, whoops, hold on. You see that? So now it would work on an isometric perspective this way and it will follow the grids. Um, you can also do the same thing with circles. So I can take like this circle here 
right? And I can go 30, whoops, and negative 30 here. You see that? So now we just made what would essentially, so we could do like a round window on this isometric building here. <clears throat> yeah, I can, um, I can, we'll, we'll do some, um, we'll do some isometric streams. So you guys can sort of see how this process works and everything. Pretty cool. See, I'm always learning different styles, different ways to do what I do. It fascinates me. I love learning. Love it. Really? Okay, we'll do some. We'll do some. It'd be fun. I like doing isometric. I don't, nah, we're not going to get into that full-on 3D crap, nah. We're just going to leave this the way it is and be happy with it. I don't want to, I don't want to get into all that. We're just going to make this look like a giant billboard here. And we'll do it like a neon sign that says like Atari or something. Like Carrington was saying, I don't, I don't want to get into the forced 3D. You're going to get it. It'll look 3D. <clears throat> right, right. And see, for me, like, you guys will see me jump all over the place. Like, check this out. You'll see me jump in here and you'll see me do pixel art, right? Like I, it, for me, it's all about sort of, um, I love learning and, and what I do to keep things fresh is I will, um, I'll move from one thing to the next constantly because it sort of, you know, it, it keeps me sort of motivated and moving along. Like I made this the other day playing around, check this out. So I wanted to make a drip effect. Look at this. You see that? So I made that at lunch the other day messing around because I wanted to experiment with making a drip look like it formed, broke, and then splat. You see what I mean? What if it says Jer Henning? Oh, we can maybe do my logo somewhere in it, Saru. Yeah. But like, I'm always playing around with different things and just trying to figure out what I can do to push the envelope. Because I love, I just, it, it's, a, it's a passion for me, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we'll do squared edges on this one. Oh, seven. Are you still here? I'm going to show you something. Let's do like a, let's do like a neon blue. We'll go like here, right? And then what we'll do is we'll play around with adding some sort of like a glow effect to this. Yeah, so check this out. I made this the other day playing around with a possible change to the overlay. I want to see what you guys think. Now, this is not set in stone, but what I did was I made this, right? Now, you'll see the little water drips I animated. The chat is broken, which is the reason I don't have it on right now. But we played around with making it like this to make it look more like... Uh, make it look more like my style, uh, like a flat vector sort of style. And then you see my logo down there is sort of color changing. And then we got the little water drips and stuff. And then what's cool is I broke this into two layers, seven. Oh, you watched it? I didn't know if you were here for it. I broke it into two layers so I can actually put animation between the front and back layer. So I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about doing this and animating it. Do you think it's too cluttered? Do you like it? The chat broke. You like it? Okay. I really like, um, I really like the logo. See my logo? What I did was I cut out the top overlay and I made a color changing GIF. It's literally just a GIF that rotates through colors and put it behind my logo. That way it sort of cycles through colors. And it, I want to say it's pretty long. It just cycled through colors. I was like, oh, that would look pretty cool, right? Right. I get your radio, and some people are like that, and that's why I'm sort of toying with the idea. Yeah, and that's what I need to do. And, and so the whole reason I want to do this is because I want to accommodate the chat. So I've got to play with it some to figure out how I want to do it and what I want to do with it. Yeah. 
Yep. Because I kept all the files here. Oh yeah, it it wouldn't it wouldn't work for games at all. Um Hey Glass. So check this out. All the files are right here, right? So here's the main and then here is the here's all the cutouts. So you got the front and you got the back. You see? So I can very easily make these changes and then just move them over. So I, I've still got some adjustments and stuff I want to make to it. I'm not 100% where I want to be yet. That's why I'm here. And the uh, the Vim chat broke. As you can see, it's not loading. Something with hosting or something. So anyways, we'll get back into that. How you doing tonight, Glass? Good to see you, buddy. For a reason? Okay, what's the reason? If you don't mind sharing. Is it like that Brady Bunch sort of perspective? You like looking down? That. You, okay, you did research. Rule of thirds. Okay. But I read that the human eye loves to gravitate to the upper left corner. Hmm. I'll have to do some looking at that, Seven. See what it's all about. I need to, I, I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. Okay. Yeah, if you find it, shoot it over. I'd like to see that. Because I'm really, I'm really sort of trying to figure out how I want to do it. Because I want to accommodate the chat, right? No, 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 you're right. No, I agree with that. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it to accommodate chat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I appreciate any input, guys. Like, I, that's why I ask. I mean, I want to know what you guys think, you know? Yeah, that's the first time I've tried to do something quite like that. You know what I mean? So, I want to see what it's all about. Yeah, but I think he's talking about more from just an... Uh... uh, uh you know, I get what he's saying by the camera in the upper left. I don't know. We'll play with it. What is the key for this? Why? It works for overlays. Well, that's true, too. And that's why I'm sort of dabbling with it, right? I want to see what we can come up with. Yeah. I want to see what I can come up with. Thanks, Seven. Right, exactly. I know I want to do something different, but I don't want it to be cluttered. That is my biggest fear, y'all. You know, I don't want it to be a cluttered mess. And that's that was sort of the first iteration. I've got some changes I want to make to it, and I've got some ideas for it. And then we'll sort of figure it out from there.
There's a few little nuances with this beta version that I am not 100% sold on, but maybe it'll grow on me. Thirty-five k of these lightning thingies. What do I do with them? Okay, so those are new. well, they're not new. They're called Sparks Radio, and what they're essentially used for is on a partnered streamer stream. Um, then when you when you use Sparks on the channel, partners get like some, they get like gold. They can get like monetary gains. Uh, I look at them more from the perspective of they're used to interact with the channel. So you see the little skills button, stickers button. Yeah, right there, Carrington down below you can basically have stickers pop up in chat and stuff it just gives you a way to sort of interact with chat it's essentially what it is go go to my stream drop my me right <laughs> i think of it just playing your eyes on the yeah two yeah a little bit a little bit seven a little bit a little bit all right let's get it he does so partnered streamers, it actually counts toward, it counts toward, whatever the heck they call it, right? I use them wherever I want. Like Carrington, I use them in Carrington stream and stuff. Some people save them specifically for partners. You know what I mean? It, it sort of varies depending, right, exactly. You want to use them here, feel free. You want to go to a partner streamer, I totally understand. It's sort of a divided thing there. But I mean, I, I get I get both sides of the fence. You know what I mean? Partner or not, right, exactly. I look at it like, I think the reason they were created was to allow people to interact with chat. That is why they exist. You know, it wasn't necessarily, oh, you know, this, that, or the other. And, you know, I mean, everybody's going to look at it differently. And, of course, a lot of partners are going to look at it differently. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. Mr. Bought by Microsoft. Okay, yeah. Well, it's sort of a new feature you can do there, Radioactive. So you can sort of move things around. So if you guys have any questions for me tonight, feel free to ask. Uh, we're just sort of goofing off and we're working on a scene. I will open up my other scene studies so you guys can sort of see. Oh, crap. We're in the beta version. I can't open all my stuff in this version. Uh, anyway, we'll play with this. I'll open them up over here. So I have two copies of Affinity open right now. Let me show you. I don't know if y'all saw my other scene studies. I know Haru didn't. We. Uh... So this was the very first scene that I did. Um... And, well, I wouldn't say it was the very first scene. I actually did one before this. Where the heck was that? Here. Right? We were playing around with, like, um, shadows in the water and, and like, just, just goofing, right? Because I don't normally do scenes. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grow and push myself to do more. So that was, like, the first sort of scene that I did. And then I made this one here, which I really, really like. Because the colors to me are freaking amazing. Um, like, I love the gray against the orange. I like how it forms that contrast right there. It's just sharp. Beautiful. And then this, I was experimenting with. I didn't quite finish it. I need to finish it. But, um, I've got to add some more textures and details here. And we're going to put, like, a little campfire here. And we're going to add some details to the city back here. And we're going to add some more clouds and stuff. But I'm really experimenting with, like, heavy color contrast. Playing around with, like, different ideas on what I can do. Thank you, Ginger. Appreciate that. Thank you, Route 7. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to, trying to grow. All right, Surreal, take care. You know, and, and I want to continue to push myself so that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, Carrington. Carrington, he likes using his sparks. And they're welcome here. So this I want almost to be like a spotlight or a hologram sort of shining up into the sky. And then we will play around with making it some different colors. Maybe we'll try some, I don't know. And we're going to do some stuff on the buildings too, y'all. Got some ideas here. How do you guys like the cutaway building? Is that interesting? Is it weird?
Is there? I've never actually seen one like that. Sounds cool. I like these right here. You see how I did this detail here? Which almost makes it look like it's carved in, sort of embossed like. So let's take, copy this, flip it. I sort of, I call these like my studies. You know what I mean? Because it's sort of where I learn the techniques that I use elsewhere. Because people always ask, they're like, where did you learn that? Or where did you come up with it? Right here. You know what I mean? Doodles, exactly. Like, they're just me getting out here and making stuff, you know? The biggest thing is not being afraid to just make stuff, you know? I like that. Yeah, they changed the way the copy's working in this beta, I'm noticing. Not sure I'm 100% on board with that. But uh, that'll just take a little bit of, of uh, changing things around. Alright, so we're going to group this. We may do something more realistic here. A mothership? Well, I was actually going to do some ship flying by radio. Like maybe like some low flying sort of ships. Like maybe one zooming by with like lights on it and stuff. Like maybe in here. Think almost like the Jetsons or something. You know what I mean? Right, Ginger. That's what it's all about. You know, like you just gotta, you just gotta do it, man. You know, it's. I think sometimes people we get we get too stuck with perfection. You know, we get too stuck with, and that's what me and Haru were talking about earlier. You know what I mean? We were talking about like sometimes when you're doing commissions and stuff, it's a different vibe because you're constantly. You're constantly so focused on perfection because it has to be. It's for money, right? So, um, but what um, when you do stuff like this, there's it's chill because there's no there's no barrier there. You're just having fun, right? Eighty sci-fi, right? Flying cars, right, right. Yep, yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. And then I want to do some details in this front, but I want to sort of figure out these. Uh, I want to sort of figure out these buildings here first before I do that. A DeLorean. We could try. Well, I mean, hey, you know, I'm game. Fully detailed. Good lord. Y'all are trying to make a man go crazy. Uh, very few. Very few. Um, I am not an automotive, you know, freak. I don't really, I mean, cars are cars to me, right? But, um, we can sneak it in. We'll try. We'll try. So, like, me and cars, like, I, I, I mean, obviously, I know what a car is. I can draw a car, but, like, it's not my strong suit. Oh no, that's cool. Who here does Vector besides me? I know Radio does. Haru, do you do any? Seven, I don't think you do any to speak of. Anyone else? Oh yeah. Is this here, Gravit? Ginger, this is Affinity Designer. This is actually the beta. What I was saying is, do you do any vector stuff? So check this out. This is a new feature. I don't know what you use for software, but this is a new feature in Affinity Designer that I think is going to be pretty awesome. 
So they've done something with the pen tool now. Um, so when we draw a shape, like let's say we make this shape here, right? Well, actually, we'll give it one flat side as the example. Let's say we make this shape here. We give it a fill, no stroke. They've changed it now. So if you have on this feature called add to curves, check this out. If I come and I draw off of the shape, it automatically adds to it without having to combine the shape or group it. It literally makes it part of the, the shape. Check that out. Is that not? Yes, exactly. So like you can just keep working, like legitimately just keep working. And it doesn't make like a compound or anything. It literally adds it to the shape. It is now part of the shape. That's crazy cool. And then check this out with the pencil tool. They've changed it. They're calling it sculpting now. So before when I would draw shapes like this with the pencil tool, right? It would right here. You see this? If I wanted to continue this, I'd have to like best guess it and sort of try to merge it, right? But check this out. Now, when you go like this, if you hook onto that last square, look at that. It keeps the shape going. So now what it's going to do is it allows you to sort of make complex shapes with this or make them without it. I just think that's really, really neat. That's a feature that I never would have guessed. But with it there, I'm like, oh, that is freaking cool, right? And then they have something here that I'm totally baffled by. It's called rubber band mode. So I don't know what it does though. It just says rubber band mode, rubber band mode. And it shows, let, let's try it. It shows the, um, I will say this, Ginger. If you're at all serious about vector art, I cannot recommend this software enough. Same for you, Haru. Like, if you're using Illustrator, Illustrator, without a doubt, is is a really big software, right? But um, I, I find this software to just be so much more efficient at what it does. But, you know, everybody has their own opinion on it. Yeah, you can subtract that. Hey, Killshot, how you doing? What the heck does this mean by rubber band mode? Wow, did you see that too? Look at this, Haru. Literally, I just like I just take the pen shape and I'm just like, eh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna circle here. There it is. It's part of the shape. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you know that's that's gonna be any software. One of the biggest complaints I get from a lot of people is they're like, I don't want to get an, I don't want to get Affinity because I don't know how to use it. Totally get that. Um, it, there is a little bit of a learning curve, right? At work, board, I hear you. Right. Well, there you go. And, and I will say this too, uh, Ginger. They're getting ready to, I say getting ready. This is the beta version right here. They're going to be releasing it soon. And typically when they release beta versions, they, they throw the software on sale for usually like 35 bucks or something. Yeah, Gravit has, Gravit is... I don't, I don't even want to sound rude. Gravit is like entry level compared to this. And I don't even know how to really say it any other way than that. Um, Gravit is going to be a great tool to understand how vectors work. But I will tell you right now. Well, no, I hear you. But like, um, oh, Haru, you can buy this software for 50 bucks. One time, you own it. Never have to update. Never another dime. You don't pay another dime. 50 bucks, it's yours for the life of the software. And typically during like big major releases and stuff, they'll put it down to like 30, 35 bucks. I mean, it is beyond affordable. <laughs> I mean, you figure how many things in your life. Yeah, ex exactly. That's the point. I gave up Adobe two years ago and never looked back. I don't use anything Adobe anymore. Yeah, they do offer a trial, Ginger. It'd be worth trying it out. Yep, I, I have uh, completely separated from Adobe. I don't use anything about it anymore. It's uh, got no need. All right, so we'll put something on that screen. 
sorry, we're sort of chatting. Back to the drawing. Back to the drawing. I'm hoping that uh, one of these days I'm going to approach Affinity and see about maybe like an affiliate program or something. I don't even know if they do affiliate stuff. But, you know, I showcase their software constantly and I can't tell you how many people I've gotten to try the software. So I'm really thinking about approaching them at some point to see if they would be interested in any sort of like an affiliate link or something. It might get you guys a discount. You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to approach them one of these days. Well, I mean, it's not just that, but I make YouTube content with their stuff. I make, you know, I live stream it, you know. Jer, have you done digital printing with frames and stuff? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I'm going to, Seven. I was kind of waiting. I was kind of waiting, though, Seven. I was hoping to move closer toward, like, partnership in a couple different places and stuff. And, like, getting into more, um, just a little bit bigger, right? Because as far as I'm aware, I've not seen anyone that's an affiliate for them. Um, so my goal was to sort of keep growing. You know what I mean? Right on, Whisper. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that that's my hope is to, if I can get a large enough platform to where they'll actually look at me and not just be like, oh, it's just some random dude. You know what I mean? So I was hoping to, like, maybe land partner and maybe do some things like that and then maybe move into that direction. Because that's why I'm trying to grow YouTube. I'm trying to grow, you know, Mixer. I'm over there on DLive now, just trying to expand. See where I can get. Yeah. That's awesome, Whisper. Good luck. Well, you know, because like the 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 thing is is you know, you hate to you hate to say it, but like we in a way, we're almost more of a face for their software than they are. Because, you know, people they come in your channel and they're like, you know, what software is this? And it's like, oh, and they ask questions and stuff, and it's like we're basically live advertising for them. You know what I mean? So it's like Oh, that's wicked cool. Did y'all see that? Right. Yep. Did you see that? I think that's a new feature. Let's double check this. It is a new feature. Holy smokes. Thank you. That's something I wanted in Affinity, and they finally put it in there. So check this out. No more hopeful clicking. I don't know if y'all can see this, but you see where this child meets the edge of the parent? It actually puts a dot. So now you know you're exactly where you need to be. Oh, that is mad. And then look at that. That literally snaps to that edge right there. Oh, boy. That's like, that's like Christmas. That's fantastic. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking, Seven. That's exactly what I'm thinking. It was like, you know. Snapping, it, it works, but they need to, it needs some adjustments. Oh, that's a nice, nice feature. Wow. Oh, that's going to increase my workflow tenfold. That's no exaggeration either. That's going to increase my work. Yep. Fantastic. I've been waiting for a feature like that. Oh, dude, it's amazing. You know, it's nice because those are like the features you sort of wish they had and they and they don't have them. And then all of a sudden you find it and you're like, oh, geez, thank you. Oh, uh, and um, the big thing is too, radio, is they're supposed to be releasing a massive overhaul to the isometric system in this version of Affinity. Meaning they're claiming that it's going to like, it's going to be a huge improvement to the way you do isometric art. So I'm really curious to see what that looks like. Really, really, really curious. Because that could make isometric art a breeze. Oh, it is. It is. Because that that's huge, the way I just did that. Like, before, that's something that would have taken me just a little bit. But now, that's going to be so much easier. All right. So, that helmet was pr looking pretty nice there, Seven, you were doing. 
You're taking your time with that one, huh? Yeah, here. You're talking about right here? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how I want to present that yet. I don't know if I want to do like a, I'm thinking about doing almost like a, for a lack of better term, like a, uh, like a neon sign up here, if you will. Like, think, we'll do something like this real quick, just to give you an example. I'm thinking about doing like maybe a neon shape up here. You know what I mean? Your octo scare button is a hit. Dude, who doesn't like that picture? That picture is amazing. Look at this picture, guys. Where is it? So, for those that don't know, um, seven of seven here in chat, he loves eating octopus. Not really, but we like to joke him about it. Um, and so I, I drew this at lunch one day while he was streaming, and this is a picture of him getting force-fed an octopus. The octopus is force-feeding himself to seven, and um. It was a fun, it was a fun little, like, lunchtime doodle, but, uh, yeah, it's good fun. It's, it's a fun picture, man. I love it. I wanted to make you laugh, and it did. Because I told you I was going to do it. I was like, oh, it's coming. Or, like, a vertical banner, maybe, radio, yeah. I want to do something over here, like a neon sign or something. We're just going to leave this here as sort of a... I believe it's sort of like that. Oh, wait a minute. I just got a crazy cool idea. What if we do this? And treat it like a sign. Hold on. And then make it like a like a neon banner or something that would sort of be scrolling. You know what I mean? Like hanging off the building. We might play with that. I don't know. I don't know. There's like so many different ways you could go with this. And how you can sort of plan this stuff out. Right, exactly. Yeah. Sort of getting into like an isometric perspective there, but it could work. Let's work on this building for a bit. I jump around a lot. You'll notice that. Oh, man, I'm getting tired now. Oh, excuse me. I had a long day today. I hear you. That's the thing for me, Radio. As I get up, I get up at uh, 4.50 to go to work in the morning. So that's about five and a half hours from now. Well, about six and a half hours from now. So my streams normally end right around right around now. But I'm just hanging out a little bit longer. Um, a little bit longer. Not too much. Because I got to get up early for work. But... It's a job, it pays the bills, yay, you know. I like that. I like that look. That sort of look there. And then we can do some small windows down this edge here. I think this has potential. I think the drawing definitely has potential. It's going to be a thing that's sort of going to have to be built out, right? We're going to have to... We're really going to have to sort of work on it. But I think it definitely has potential. I like the direction it's heading. I like the neon sign. Sort of like skylights in the back right and then we'll do some clouds and we'll do some like colors in there and we'll do some really neon sort of bright bright colors in this um 
and we'll play around with detailing this front and rear section to see if we can make those look a little more detailed. I think this would be good fun. What do you guys think? I'm liking it. And then at the end of it all, we'll grab all of it like this. We'll bring it down here and we'll, we'll make a reflection in the, uh, in the water and we'll sort of, yeah, it'll look really cool. We'll do some like neons in the water and stuff. It'll look neat. It's a good learning piece. It'll be fun. All right, let me see who is on so I can kind of get a feel for who we're going to host because I'm going to have to go very, very, very soon. Um, let's see who is here. Dragon's on. Kirsch is on. Let's do... Who's on? Who's on? Rhino's on. Let's go drop it on Rhino. Rhino's making some pottery. So let's, let's spread the love over there to him for a little bit. So, all right, guys, I'm going to call that a night then because I got to get some sleep. But uh, thank you guys so much. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the host. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the conversation. I really do appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your time very much. Your support is what makes this happen. So thank you. Um, I will be around. <laughs> thank you for the lemon. Um, I will be around. Um, let's see. Today's Wednesday. So I'll be back. My I'll be back again Friday. So, thank you guys so much. Diamond. Have a good night. I really appreciate it. Diamond? Who's over there throwing diamonds around? Radio. Thank you, dude. I wasn't expected, but I do appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Um, so, yeah, guys. Have a great night. Uh, feel free to hit me up with any questions you have, Radio, uh, in, in terms of that other stuff you were talking about. And I'll catch you guys later. Be safe. We're going to go drop a host. And, uh, yeah. Have a good night, folks. See you all later. Bye.